everyone, my name is Chris, and welcome to Metal Gear Solid, uh, part 7. Uh, Alright, uh, let's join in. Sorry, I just saw something popped up on my Twitter feed. For my job, I have a, a, a Twitter feed, and um, I'm on a break right now, of course, but uh, on the Twitter feed, they just said that um, they will not be... What What is this? Star Wars Battlefront, the new game, will not have a single player campaign and i'm like oh why it just hurts so much that that's the case um so i'd be very curious to see what they have to say uh it's just you know the new for me i mean the game looks beautiful uh you know I, there's a panel that's gonna happen in in a handful of of like what is it like in half an hour or something like that um, I'm really looking forward to it, uh, personally still, to a certain degree. I want to learn more of the game, honestly, before I commit to anything. But, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just a shame they're not going to really focus on or have a story mode in it. Um, I mean, I, it's one of the reasons I love this game so much is it's it's a blend of gameplay and cinematics i love that so much when it's a full-on game and but it feels like a full-on movie that to me is like some of the best uh games you could make so it's kind of a shame yeah that's meryl by the way uh <laughs> you have to find her um she's always going to be the first person there well at least in my in the games i play so um you could also like stalk them and sh her butt wiggles just like in the cutscene and it makes like a creak 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 like noise and see since i got there really quickly she's in her underwear that's that's an easter egg if you take too long she'll be fully clothed but here they imply that it took her so like you got there so fast that she didn't have time to put on her her pants so for the first part of this cutscene she's in her underwear i mean it's a fucking it's it's a video game it's not like i'm like oh you know or anything like that but um yeah uh but yeah see things like this like that's so cool it's such a video game thing but it's still a part of the cinematic i love stuff like that um why'd you change so that's kind of a bummer, that Battlefront, which is the, f d which arguably is the first major, not like an iPhone, the first major, um, Star Wars game, brand new Star Wars game to be released post new canon, um, and you know, it's like, come on, man, really, no, no fucking like story or anything. It's you guys were I don't know. It smells like shit to me. All the heroes I know are either we'll have to see. One or the other. But Snake, oh God, excuse hero, me. But um, I'm just a man who's good at what he yep. does. Killing. Yep. There's no winning or losing for a moment. <laughs> the <only laughs> Nothing there. So yeah, I just when I turned over, I saw that pop up, and it's just like uh, the second I'm done recording this, I had to start cutting these together, uh, these videos. But which maybe I'll do a video on how I do that because I I did a video a long time ago on how. I uh I make um a move like how I did my I, I don't know if you guys realize this but for those who have been long time watching but my first 100 episodes uh or videos for this channel were comedy based uh and then I kind of just got tired of it um you know after 100 videos and th this was something it wasn't like every w now how like every week I give you guys three videos back then it was like um you know one video a week or something like that and and they were you know like i would write them some of them weren't written it was random stuff so it was just like random ideas and it was kind of fun to do that it was really cool because uh, i just got finished making a movie at the time um and so to to just let my brain do whatever the hell it wanted it was kind of cool but um metal gear or you know, following that, it was kind of like, all right, let's, let's fucking move on. Like, <laughs> I wanted to do something different, and video games seem like something that would be fun. So that'd be cool. I should show you guys how I how I do this, my setup. It's kind of interesting. It's very complicated, but well, not really. It's complicated to me, but it's actually kind of easy. There's just a lot of like, it's like a Lego set kind of like when i set up all the all the legos are in the bag and then when i'm finished i open it up and i just have to piece stuff together it's not that hard but it's kind of a bitch if you're not in the mood i don't like to waste bullets bullets so i find it interesting that there's a girl bathroom and we do not see any girls on the base most i'm fairly certain every single soldier is a dude so that's kind of interesting Except for Meryl, she's the only girl other than Sniper Wolf. 
So they build this whole bathroom for Sniper Wolf so she can go in and like dump ass or pop a squat or something. Like I don't I don't understand. Like it doesn't make You wanted to follow in your father. There's two females on the entire base and they built a bathroom. Well, I mean I guess they have to legally, but damn. So are you a soldier yet? And I, I mean, I don't know. I don't think they've ever mentioned, like, you know, we evacuated all the civilians out of the base. Uh, no. I mean, not that I'm aware of. I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. Maybe they all died. Maybe Liquid Snake is an asshole that just hates women. And with the exception of Meryl and Sniper Wolf, just killed all the women or something. Take a good look. I don't know. I don't... It's the one thing I actually I've never really thought of that until now. But yeah, that's kind of a little bit weird that this game has. Oh, it's no longer my favorite game. Fucking woman's bathroom, only two women, non-canon. Fuck that shit. It's ridiculous. Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where did you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a fifty caliber action Oh shit! That's a pistol if I ever saw it. It was a Socom pistol too, but I chose this. Huh? So I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my Oh, shnikes. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. Why does she have a... When... If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the... That's kind of a... I never really liked that. So she un... She takes out the clip, which... Has she even shot that gun? She was holding the Famous. And then she... Puts the the she takes a clip out of her bra, which good lord, man, she has some those boobs must be like like rock hard, and then she just like how does that work? Okay, let's go. I don't get it. So yeah, that was another long cutscene with me just talking. That was one thing I was worried about uh, doing a play on this. Is uh wait, Snake just wants to like look at himself for a little bit. I was oh, it doesn't do it in this one. Wait, does Snake... Yeah, Snake's head. Wait, does it? Oh, uh, whatever. Okay, so... I think I mentioned this earlier, how... Eh, I'm not going to bother collecting all of the items in that room, because later on you're able to do it. And this is the later on part. Uh, you're able to do it here, because there's no more guards, so you could just go ape shit and get all of this stuff. So I usually just wait for that. It's like Christmas. It's like Christmas in Seattle. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't need a ration. I'm I'm so strong. Okay. I think there's like one door you can't open, right? Or am I wrong? So yeah, all this shit will help you at one point later. I'm kind of pissed I didn't get the infrared goggles. I don't know why I forgot to get those, but uh, I did. And it annoys me because I'm about to fight um, Psycho Mantis. Less spoilers. And um, he's kind of a bitch when you don't have uh, any... When it's just, you know, you playing and you don't have anything. At least I have the Famous. That'll help a bit. And then I don't think there's anything. Snake, what are you doing? Let's go to the commander's room. Wait, can I go to the the here? Turned it off. I guess I gotta go to the commander's room. Commander. Thought that was kind of weird. They literally just did that to My head. do this oh, cutscene. <laughs> like they're like. Meryl is in front of Snake when this cutscene happens. Uh, uh, let's just fucking run ahead. That's what they do. Are you okay? Uh, 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 that's how I feel after I take a dump. Like a really bad one. By the way, that's a knife that she has here, like in her back. Like that, that thing there. I always thought it was kind of weird that she never uses it. She never uses her knife at all in the game. I mean, it's such a cool design thing, but not once is she like, or anything like that. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Okay. Why'd you call me Mr. Foxhound? My name's Snake. <laughs> that door seems so menacing all of a sudden. Any pickups I can get in here? Oh, shit. 
Not yet, eh? Kojima is not... Wait, is he? No, right? Not in this version. Oh, yeah! I forgot. Yeah, look. You actually see from Meryl's perspective. And that actually helps you during the boss battle because then you can see where... What's his face? Psycho Mantis is, is heading, so it kind of helps you a little bit. Ah! Oh shit, Meryl. Oh fuck. Snake. How oh, do you like me? What? Oh, Meryl, what, what the? Do you like me? What? Oh, oh goodness. Snake. Oh. What's wrong? Get a napkin and just oh, hatch myself off. Hurry. Make love to me. As an 11 year old, I'm like, oh my god, make love? Make love? This game's so for adults. You know? It's a different time, you know? So you don't use your weapon, you just knock her out with fists. That's what the colonel said. Snake, don't hit Meryl. Don't use a gun on her. She's not herself. Ugh. So you just literally do a bunch of punches. No, look, she's knocked out. And you can see the stealth camouflage dude behind her. That's that's Seco Mantis. Camouflage, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. You, you doubt my power. I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psycho. Oh, fuck balls. In the world. No, there's no need for words, Snake. I'm psycho. He was my favorite villain, and this is one of my favorite boss battles in any game, except for the part where he goes invisible. But it was just such a cool idea. And, you know, I'm using a wireless controller, so it's not nearly as epic as back in the day when you had to undo it. Okay, now, let me explain something. This part's gonna suck, because I'm using a new virtual memory card, so I have none of my data. But first he reads how you're playing. Yeah, I always get that. Well equipped to this stuff. You are a highly skilled warrior. Well suited to this yeah. I always get this. That's that's my thing. You are extremely careful of traps. You are either very cautious or you are a coward. Still don't believe me. Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. Your memory is completely clean. Yeah, sometimes he'll say, uh, like, oh, I see you like Castlevania, and stuff like that. It's really cool. And I, I own Castlevania Symphony of the Night, so he says that. I can read you like an open book. You still don't okay, so for this part, I will show you my I'm going to show you guys something cool. With your controller. Okay. I'm going to put the controller right here. I'm holding... This is just a random box I keep in the corner of my room for my cat. But watch. It's probably gonna fall off. Wait, so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. It's pretty funny. Oh, power. Psycho Mantis power. Oh, man. He's got power. Oh, shit. He's in attack mode. And then this weird fucked up part happens where it just says Hideo and you're like, oh my god, my computer fucked up or my, my TV or whatever. And that's really just so you could switch controller ports. Um, but guys, I, I would love to keep playing, but the last video ran too much, so I, I really have to cut this off because uh, our work is a calling. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we'll fight Psycho Mantis in the next boss battle, and we're, we're totally going to we're gonna keep playing this game and, and beat it to the end. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys liked what you saw, like the commentary, uh, click the subscribe button, uh, join the CR Happen Army today. Sounds silly, but I'm building an army of, of subscribers to help me take on all these games. I Trust me, I need all the help I can get. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, just thanks again. We'll, we'll be back next week with some more Metal Gear. I, I have a bunch of other stuff coming up, uh, movies. Actually, on Monday, uh, just a quick reminder, Monday uh, the 27th, um, I am going to be releasing um, my newest short film. It's called Drunk Max. It's a movie that I created entirely 
while being drunk. So the entire process was done while I was under the influence of alcohol. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Um, there's a trailer up already if you guys want to see so you can get an idea of, of what kind of a movie it's going to be. But um, do check that out. It'll be up on Monday, the 27th of April. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys then uh, watching the movie. And, you know, it's like a 20-minute movie or something. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care.